because I thought the light was interesting and uh, I found somewhere outside in this log, uh, I thought, I know, I'm going to um, uh, film uh, some G-Shocks out here in this fabulous light. So the first one is, uh, so it is one of the MRGs and uh, I shall put that one there. And uh, this one is, I think this is the other MRG. Yes, it is. Uh, so we have the, uh, the silver one there. And uh, this is one of the, uh, the, the GMW, oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, this is the Darth Vader. Uh, so I shall pull that one there. And uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I found this location outdoor, uh, outside, and uh, I thought it's going to look great. And uh, I know what you're thinking. Uh, I need the gold one, and uh, uh, I am going to try and get the uh, uh, the gold GMW actually, because that's a nice watch. But straight away, uh, one of the reasons I, I did this outside like this is because I thought the lighting is going to be so good. And uh, there we go. And uh, I'm, I'm going to, uh, there we go, look at that. So right now I'm in um, outdoor lighting and hopefully I've got it in the best uh, uh, possible uh, time of day uh, because the light should be just above me. And, uh, and I thought these would uh, look good outdoors like this. One of the problems is I'm frozen. I'm absolutely frozen here. And uh, I was thinking to myself, uh, I'm probably going to seize up chatting because uh, <laughs> I'm so cold. But I thought this is worth doing because the lighting is so good. Look at that. And uh, I do like the, the, the silver one with the, um, uh, the polished screws here, the way they contrast. Now I do apologize for the, um, the, the, the smudges uh, because um, when you get your fingers on these things it, it does leave a mark. But I thought I am going to wear them so you know it's fine because it's real life. But what I really liked was, the, uh, it was how they looked. Now because I'm looking at a little screen I don't know exactly how good they look a bit later on. I'll actually have them on a, oh, look at that. You can see the good metal hue there, the, um, the, the, the gray color uh, of the TLC. That is super. I mean, right now, this, um, th th this gum metal gray really does look super. And I love the blue text there. Uh, but I'll quickly show you the, uh, uh, the, the G the 5000G, that I call this the Darth Vader because it's definitely more black than the, the gunmetal DLC and uh, I thought I could offer them up um, so that you could uh, see them all against each other. Now if I just zoom out again, so I think what I'll do first of all is, um, is show the TFC and the G together and hopefully this light is translating on camera uh, the uh, the DLC, the TFC here, is definitely more grey, more gunmetal, uh, possibly more shiny, although I don't think it is. Um, but hopefully what you've captured here is the gunmetal grey against the black of the uh, Darth Vader uh, B5000G here. And uh, just to remember, the, um, uh, the G here, is, it, it has the GD bracelet. Um, so normally this would have a, a negative display, but uh, because I've got the head of the uh, G, it's got the positive display, and I thought it looked better. And uh, you know, perhaps I should have um, had the black display because it would show on video. But there you go. And actually, what I will quickly do there is show you um, the, the because this is DLC as well, so it should be a similar yeah, which it is actually. And maybe uh, the colouring there is more is, is more obvious on the uh, the, the DLC, and I do apologise for the smudges, but I suppose you are getting a, a good example of the colour differencing there. That does look pretty good, huh? 
Uh, I mean, I do like the, the MRGs, I really do. But saying that, if you have the, the normal, um, uh, if you have this, because I, I, I like this model also, uh, I, you know, I like the, the stealthed out Darth Vader black thing going on. I, I do like it. This GMW here, uh, this full metal, is it is a great watch. I, I do like it. What I will do is uh, I shall quickly show, uh, yeah, uh, against the, the silver. Uh, now, I suppose if I had the GMW B5000D, which is the full metal silver, you know, that would be a great comparison. Because here I'm putting the, uh, the MRG against the GMW. And this, of course, has the thin red line. And it has the MRG detail on the screen. Uh, and you can see the fine detail of the uh, Kobari on uh, bezel there and uh, the individual parts where the bezel here on the GMW is solid. But on the whole, they look the same, which is super duper. I do like that. You know, the, the, the square watch really is, uh, you know, it really is a king of, of wrist watches. And uh, I have been asked before if I had to choose one of these four, you know, which, uh, which is the watch that you actually go for. And uh, probably the silver MRG would be the one, or the, 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 the TFC. Now, these are both uh, DLC, and uh, so I imagine the colouring uh, might be similar. I doubt that, uh, yeah, definitely there, they look different. Uh, but these are definitely both DLC. In th so, and they both got the thin red line. But in another video, I've explained that the, uh, the thin red line on the MRG has a slight shiny mirror effect um, against the, uh, the full metal uh, GMW. And uh, you can probably see it just there. But one of the things on the GMW that I really do like is that blue text. And the blue text here does seem to have the, 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 a mirror shiny uh, aspect uh, effect to it. And I do like that. It is very, very nice. And I wonder if I can um, uh, show you the, the profiles together. So if I hold that one like that, and then I, I get this one like that. Yeah, you can almost see them together. So they're very similar profiles in size. Uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the TFC here has uh, black parts all around where on the MRG we've got the, uh, the gold parts here. I, I mean, the, uh, you know, the gold backplate, uh, that is cool. And uh, the gold buttons and the gold screw heads there, that's cool. And the, the lock uh, item there. You know, these are super watches. And I love the clasp, my goodness. Uh, the, and uh, I've, on another video, I've I listened to the click it's got that uh, German car feeling to it. It is very, very nice. Uh, I do like the, the, the gold backplate. And if I'm honest, one of the reasons I really wanted to get my hands on this was that uh, gold backplate, uh, the way that it matched the, the buttons on the side um, and uh, the MRG and uh, the uh, visual detail on the dial. That is super. It really is. Um, but going back to the, the silver, there we go. And uh, I often wear grey t-shirts and, and white t-shirts actually, especially in the summer. Um, and you know, the, the jumper's coming out here. And you can see how that's going to go with anything. Ah, that's one of the things about the, the G-Shock Square. It goes with anything. Uh, especially these colours, um, the, the, the black, well, you, you know, that's a colour that goes with anything. But the silver um, lends itself towards being smart as well, because I have worn this with a shirt, and it looks totally fine. And I was just thinking, can I shove that back inside my coat? Um, although I don't need to, but there we go. So it's, it's just on my skin now, and it looks fine. But it's the strap that I like, and uh, the uh, uh, the buckle. 
Let's see if we can hear the, 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 the clip. There we go. And uh, I don't really use this lock mechanism, but um, it's definitely there. It's a nice bit of detail. And once again, the, uh, the silver screws coming through here, how cool is that? And the polished silver part there on the, uh, on the bracelet. Then the silver uh, visual detail on the dial there. There we go, look at that. That is cool. Anyway, I think one of the problems I've got here uh, in talking to camera is it is so cold and uh, I can feel my uh, conversation <laughs> slowing down. And I'm thinking I need to bring this video to an end uh, so I can go back indoors. But the lighting out here is so good. I, I've got naturally diffused bright white light. There we go. That's a good shot there. And uh, I thought I might not be in a hurry to do this again. So uh, let, me, let, it, let me get it done now. Anyway, I think G-Shocks are cool. And uh, as a wristwatch, you really can't go far wrong. Uh, they, they seem to offer everything you could possibly want in a watch and uh, and they look great anyway because i'm freezing to death i am going to have to say goodbye and uh, i hope everyone's well and uh, speak again soon